Okay guys, today we have a really fun video about what, buddy? Sink or float! Is that why we have this tub here? Sinking or floating has to do with what, buddy? It starts with M. Molecule. That's right, buddy. It's about molecules. So let's take this object, right? What is this, buddy? Turtle. A turtle. Is this filled with molecules everywhere? Yes. Does everything have molecules? Yes. Everything in the world has molecules. If the molecules in this turtle are packed in, that's called density. If they're spread out, it's not as dense. And so Jersey, how would this turtle, how would this sink? What would the molecules have to be? Then it has to be stuck. Have to be really tight and dense, right? Now the first thing, do we have water in here? Nope. We don't have any water. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta fill this up with water, okay. Here we go. Even the water has molecules. That's right, Jersey said even the water has density and molecules, that's right. This is gonna be fun for the Jersey man. He likes stuff like this. This is a fun science experiment for kids. Even the bucket has density molecules. The bucket? Yeah, these buckets do have density. Everything has molecules, buddy, right? Everything is made of molecules. And density. We're filling this up with water. Done, it's done, it's done. Look at that. That one's enough. Do we have enough water here, buddy? Yeah. And it's, there's water in here. We got a lot Don't of water. Take it out. Now what do we need? We got water. What do we need now? The top. We need objects to see if they sink or float. So let's go through the house and let's go get like 10 or 15 objects. Some sink and some float. We're going to find out. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Oh. Here, grab this. Oh, you want to put the turtle in there? Okay, turtle. Oh, the ball. Okay, yeah, let's get the ball. Good. What else do we got in the house that would be good? Pop it. Oh, you want to do the pop it to see if that sinks or float? Okay, okay. Fish. Let's get the fish. We got a fish. Do you want to get the gecko? Yeah. A gecko, okay. How about up here we got some of Dad's equipment which might be very dense. Let's see. Yeah. What do we got up here? How about that right there piece of camera equipment? Um, how about that? Okay. Oh, oh. okay. It's fell in the bucket. No, okay, good job. Let's go over here. What else we got over here? How about... What I know? Oh, well, I see something Dad likes. What is that? Golf ball. Golf ball. Okay. Let's go back like over here. No, how about this, buddy? Let's put this in here. Yeah. Put that clip in there. I'm not sure if that's gonna sink or float. We gotta find out, bud. Now, how about over here? We got a couple more things we can do. Look at Jersey Man, he's got a whole bucket full. Ooh, what about this guy right here? Let's put him in there, right? We got a snake. Put that snake in there. And two more things. How about over here, what do we got? Okay, I think that's it. Is that it, buddy? No, we have more stuff. You got more stuff? Okay, I guess he's got more stuff, guys. Over here in the living room. Oh, he's got more stuff in the living room? Look at him, he's strong. He's carrying all this. He's got a couple more things, I guess. Hot Wheels car. Uh, the Hot Wheels car, that's fine. All right, all right. There we go. Okay, so what do we got here, buddy? We got all these objects, so now we're gonna see if they sink or float, okay? Yeah. Hold it up. What is that? Molecule. Do you think the molecules in there are dense or not dense? Dense. No, they're not. Did it sink or float? Float. It's floating. So that means the molecules in the ball are not that dense, right? Yeah. Okay. So the next thing. That's the next thing. I think we want to do this. What is that? Floral. Do you think that sinks or floats? Floats. Floats? Let's see. It floats! It floats. Okay. So, Jersey, what does that mean if it floats? The molecules are what? Not dense. Not dense. That's right. Let's get something in here that we think might be very dense. What do you think that would be? Golf ball? Yeah. Let's see. One, two. Ooh, what happened with the golf ball? It sunk. Why did it sink? Because it's tight. The molecules are very tight, right? So, 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 so far we've got this ball floated. This it, ball did this not ball float. Is, so what is the difference between this ball and the golf ball? What's the difference? This one floats, this one sinks. So what's the difference between that ball and that but ball? this ball. The molecules are what? The molecules are not tight and this molecules are they are tight, right, okay. Yeah, so the education here is sink or float, but also understanding why things sink or float. We're also gonna talk about buoyancy. Quick question, so what is buoyancy? Buoyancy. Buoyancy, what is that? That's the ability to what? Oh, if it sinks or not. Yeah, that's right, the, the ability to float or not. So we're talking about buoyancy today. Now let's go to the next thing. What do you wanna get next out of the bucket to see if it sinks or floats? Mm -hmm. This. What is that? A Hot Wheels car? What do you think? Horse. Let's sink. see. Sink. Oh, it sank all the way to the bottom, buddy. And this one, this one, don't sink. And this one, this one, do sink. So the car, obviously, is pretty dense. It sunk to the bottom pretty fast. Ba, ba, ba. This. What is that? Gecko. Gecko, let's put him in I there. I think it's going to 
the thing. I float. He does the thing, he floats. Let him go, let's we'll see what happens. He's floating. Jersey, so why when we put the gecko in, does he come back up? Yes. Because that's called buoyancy. This is a very buoyant object. And this is buoyant. Now, if this guy had a mouth open and we could get water in the mouth, that would make it more dense and then it Just would like, like, sink. Like, look, if I do this. Let's see about the snake. What does the snake do? It sinks. Oh. Because there's water in his mouth. Oh, you're right. So look, oh, Jersey, good point. So look, here's the gecko. The gecko has no, his mouth is not open, right? Yeah, so that's why he does like this. Now, the snake is not going to sink. Look. But it's dead. No, 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 but look at this. If we put his mouth in here, watch this. He'll drink the water and he goes down. So why, Jersey, does he sink if water gets in his mouth? Because he's dead. Because it becomes more dense. Now, what if he comes back up, buddy, and bites you? <laughs> He's not a real snake, guys. It's just a fake snake. So, yeah. But that's pretty interesting about buoyancy because some of these plastic animals, they have the mouths open and the water can get in. Yeah, snakes can usually swim in water. They can swim in water. So, now, Josie, before we go to the next object, let's talk about Archimedes' principle, okay? That's a scientific thing we're going to talk about. So, what that means is that, Josie, is this cup empty? Yeah. So the molecules right now are pretty spread out, right? Because see how the cup is spread out? Yep, but... So would this sink, look at, does that float? It floats like that, right? Yeah. It floats. So, if we put water in it, Oh, though, it's going to sink. It's going to sink. Look at that. But what this is called, so the Archimedes Principle talks about how the upward pressure of the water against the pressure of what the object is dispersing. So what that means in fancy principles is that there's pressure from the water coming up. So we put this in here, look. Now there's more and more and more and more and more pressure. That's why it's going down because the pressure of the bottom is more than what's being dispersed and by that, the object. I always thought this was going to sink like that. It did not. It floated. Yeah. So drugs man, now let's go to the next one. What do we got over here? My puppet. Oh, the poppet? Oh, let's see what the poppet does. He floats. Is he, he's coming back up. So, George man, does that sink or float? Float. Let's see. He's floating. Push it back down and see if it comes up. So, he, he's applying pressure on it, but let's see. Look at that. Why is he staying down there, buddy? Because I put water in his He's puppet. got water on him, and now he's very dense, and he's staying down there. We bring him back up, and we bring him out of all the water and put him upside down like this. And now he's floating. But once more water gets on him, he's gonna sink back down. He's sinking! The that's, person's drowning! That's pretty cool, right? Next object. Next object. So what do we got here? This. Now what is that? A clip. A clip. Let's see what that does. It sinks. It sinks right away. So what we did is this clamp sunk because it's very dense. But what's gonna happen? if we clamp this on to the gecko which floats. Do you think this is gonna be dense enough to bring both of them down? So this is floating, this sinks, but I'm gonna clamp this Clip it. to this guy and let's see what happens. Now, do you think it's gonna float or sink? Sink. Let's, let's see. see. Let it go. He, he brought down the gecko, but the gecko's trying to stay up. He's trying to stay up. So really, there's not enough pressure. There he is, he's coming back up. That's kind of cool. So the, the, the clamp is bringing down the back part of the gecko, making it more dense, but the top part is staying up. What if we take off the clamp and we put it up here in the middle? Now let's see what happens. Oh, bye-bye gecko. Is he going down? He's trying to come back up. He's trying to come back up and swim. He came back up. He survived. He can breathe. We're going to take this dense object and this not dense object and we're going to clamp it. And now see, buddy. See what happens now. Oh, bye-bye coral. The clamp brought him down. So sometimes if you bring a dense object that's more dense Dad, than the not dense object, look, it will bring it down. Look, Dad, Dad. Yeah. All right, George, man, you having fun? Mm -hmm. We had a couple more objects. Which one do you do next? The what fish. is that? I the think fish? Do you think it's going to sink or float? Float. Float. It does float. Nice, because that's your bathtub toy, right? Of course that's going to float. Now, what if we put Jersey in there? Is Jersey going to sink or float? You would sink, but the good thing is that water is not deep. That's why it's important for kids to learn how to swim, right? Yeah. Next object. What do we got? What do you want to do? You want to do that. Now, that's one of Dada's equipment. Now, that's pretty heavy, right? So, what do you think that's going to do, buddy? It does sink. It does sink. It goes straight to the bottom. But what if we put this, or this, and then it still sinks. Let's take the poppet out. 
Now this is gonna float, so get the piece of equipment. Now put it on top. It's gonna go down faster. Watch this though, see the water? I see the water coming on top of the poppet. It's gonna push it down slowly. Don't, don't touch it, buddy. It'll go down, look at it. I see it sinking, just like the Titanic. It brought it down. It's so cool how density can change. An object can be really dense and then it can lose its density and that's how things sink or float. What do you think that's gonna do? Is that gonna sink, sink or float? It's gonna sink. Yeah, that's very dense, buddy. This is obviously a very, very, very dense object, so that's gonna sink. Yeah. Boom. So Stick now to the bottom. one more. So see, if rubber ducky. What's rubber ducky gonna do? Sink. I'm sorry. He's gonna sink? No, he's gonna float. And he's ready to play football, right? But he keeps falling down. He keeps on down. <laughs> <laughs> we only have a few objects that are staying up. We got the rubber ducky, we got the fish, we got the ball, and the gecko is staying up. So we got some stuff that's floating, some stuff that's sinking. This, we got one more object this, left, buddy. This uh, object's sinking. What is? This fish. The oh, fish. because you're holding it down? And you know why, buddy? Why is that? Because the pressure of my hand is too much. The pressure of your hand is too much. And I'm making it swim. Right, now it's not buoyant anymore, is it? Because buoyancy is the ability to it's float. Buoyant. If you're applying pressure to it, it doesn't have the ability to float anymore. We got one more thing left in the bucket. We got little turtle over here. Little what, turtle. What do you think he's gonna do? Let's see. The turtle, he's floating. He's swimming with the gecko. So we got all the objects in here. And of course the kid, he wants to play in the water now. And so some of the stuff floated and some of, some of the stuff like the poor snake, he went down to the bottom because he's got his mouth open. He got all that water in there, so. He didn't make it, but we hope this helped you understand sinking or floating. This is a fun experiment that you can do at home with your son, daughter, grandchild, niece, nephew, whatever, right? Is this something that people can do at home, bud? Right, all you need to do is water and find objects. And so remember, once again, it's all and about- And you need a big bucket or a small bucket. So Jersey, tell people again, why do things sink or float? Because of what? Density. Density. And density is all about the dispersion of molecules within an object. The molecules are really spread out like this, it's gonna float. It's gonna float like If the molecules are very, very dense, then it's like gonna that. sink, yeah. Like, like this. Yep. So guys, if you wanna see more fun videos on education and entertainment, they can do what? They can subscribe to what? Playtime with Jersey. Playtime with Jersey. So we hope you guys do that. 